Hey, today I want to talk to you about why you hit a wall. What is it that gets in the way when you're on your road to success and then out of nowhere, everything seems to shut down? That's called hitting a wall. So, you know, this is a very important topic for us to have a discussion about because sooner or later you are going to hit a wall. And when you do, because you have listened to me explain this to you, you are not going to get stopped at that wall. See, that's what's smart about this is you're getting an education, you're getting training ahead of time. So when that happens, you can navigate through it and keep moving forward. Now, how do I know this? Well, I do coaching. I'm a life coach. I've been a life coach now for about almost 18 years. I've been teaching live seminars. I've been teaching and training people one-on-one. -on -one, and I have absolutely loved helping people be able to figure out psychologically what's happening to them and still keep moving forward. So today I wanna to just jump straight into this and be able to help you because you either have hit a wall or you have hit a wall in the past and didn't understand what happened or something could be happening soon and you're gonna smack your face up against that wall and you're not gonna know what's going on. Once you understand what this wall is, you're going to be able to navigate through it every single time. So let's talk about this really quick. So have you ever heard the statement that says what you think about, you bring about? So, so, so true because it has to do with what your thoughts are inside of your head. Inside this skull of yours, you have thoughts every single day. Now these thoughts tend to be a bunch of information, right? And a bunch of information comes from a bunch of different places. Examples are like this, that you have information coming from your computer, from the videos you watch, from what you look at on your cell phone, from what the news tells you, what other people tell you, and also what's pumping through the air from all the radio towers. There's a ton of information going through your head because it's all input. And your skull can't stop all this stuff from getting inside your head. So your thoughts have a bunch of things going on inside of there. Now, here's the thing that causes you to hit a wall. Your thoughts, sooner or later, turn into action. It's just how you work. Your thoughts turn into action. And your thoughts can drive you to do things or to not do things but it comes from what's going on inside your head. You literally could be inside your head thinking, you know, I gotta get off the couch to go do something. But there's another thought that says, no, I don't need to. <laughs> so you literally don't take action. And then what happens is your results go down. So results in your life, your relationships, your business, your finances, your health, all of your results come from where your thoughts are at. Now, you probably have heard this or, you know, if this is your first time hearing this, it's good to connect the dots of where, uh, what, what affects us and where it comes from. So what's going on inside of our head ultimately affects our actions, which then ultimately affects our results. So our results can go up and down based upon what's going on inside of our head. So what does that mean? I mean, if our results can go up or down, doesn't that mean that we pretty much could like copy this and copy it and I'm going to paste it and I could put this over here by the head, right? And so now instead of the results, I could put thoughts on this scale, thoughts that go up or down. So if your thoughts are in a good place, Maybe what happens is your results go up. If your thoughts go down, maybe your results go down. Maybe these are directly connected. If you stop for a moment and think about this, you start to realize how simple this is. Wait a minute. Are you trying to tell me, Kirk, that my thoughts are directly connected to my results? Is that possible that that's happening? You know, when you do enough personal development and you do enough study through science and psychology, you start to realize that what's going on inside your head is what's going on outside of your head. 
it, isn't this this the place where you make all your decisions? Isn't this the place you process who you are and what you can do and what you can't do? So it goes to tell you that what goes on inside of your head ultimately decides where your results are going to turn out. Ultimately, that's what happens. But here's the kicker. Okay, here's the kicker. What's going on inside your head? Are you even paying attention to what's going on inside your head? Now, most people I coach are not paying attention to what's going on inside their head. Guess where most of their attention is? Most of their attention is on the outside of their head, thinking about what everybody else isn't doing or is doing. There's a lot of attention we put on the outside of our head, watching all the activities that are going on around us, thinking of our to-do list, noticing what other people are doing and not doing, a lot of attention on the outside. So when I'm coaching, in fact, I just recently had a coaching appointment where I was causing my client to look inside of their head and to just pay attention to what's going on inside their head, like their thoughts. And they said that their thoughts were just squirrely, right? They're just like all over the place. I mean, just zooming around, zooming around, zooming around. And I said, okay, let's map out your thoughts. And they said, what do you mean map out my thoughts? <laughs> so I go to the whiteboard, right? I go to the whiteboard and I say, we're going to divide your thoughts into just two different groups. We're going to police your thoughts and we're going to put all of your thoughts that are good on the top part of the whiteboard and all your thoughts that are damaging, destructive, degrading. We're going to put those on the bottom part of the whiteboard. And I want you to tell me everything that's going on inside your head. <laughs> My client was like, what are we doing? This is crazy. And I said, but hey, have you ever done this before? No, they had never done this before. And it's like, why would you do this? And I said, watch. And so we drew this line on the whiteboard. So we could have up, upper thinking and lower thinking, higher thinking, lower thinking. And we divided their thoughts up into higher level thinking, lower level thinking. And come to find out there were more negative thoughts than positive thoughts. There was a lot of degrading, a lot of negativity, a lot of judgment, a lot of comparison that was going on. And I pointed out after we had made this big list on the whiteboard, I said, so seeing it out in front of you, what are you noticing? And they just started to cry. And they're just like, this makes sense. No wonder I can't get things done. Look at how many negative thoughts I have. And look how few motivating and positive thoughts I have. And it like it was like this realization moment, right? Like this moment where it's like, it, it just this aha of seeing it out in front of them. And I asked him again, I said, have you ever done inventory on your thoughts before? And they said, no, I've never done this before. And I'm 38 years old. I've never done this before. How, and then they said, how come nobody teaches us to do this? And I, I went on to explain it's because everybody's so busy doing their to-do list and paying attention to what everybody else is doing and not doing that they're not even paying attention to what's actually driving them to do what they do or not do. It comes from what's going on inside your head. And I said, based upon your inventory that's going on, does this explain why you feel the way you feel? And it did. Does this explain why you're not getting your goals? Why you lack motivation? I mean, this, it pretty much answered everything that was going on in this person's life in my client's life. And then the, then the comment comes out, and this happens every time I coach. The comment comes out, well, what do I do about this? And so then it's like, now we can move into a higher level conversation. I said, well, what if you built up more of these positive thoughts? What would happen? What if you added more to that thinking? And it's just pretty obvious. It's like, wow, I would feel better. 
And I said, what if you actually decreased these thoughts down here? And it's pretty obvious. They said, I actually would probably get more done and be more motivated. I said, exactly. I go, it's really tough to be better as a person when you don't do inventory to understand what is actually controlling you. Because what's going on inside your head controls you. What is inside your head? What are you putting in there? What is in there? And every client I have ever coached in the last almost 18 years, in two months, it's going to be 18 years. In the last 18 years, I ask my clients, what is in your head? And it, every time it is such a huge awareness and a huge awakening that they now want to start to get involved with what's going on inside their head. And then they ask me this big question. They ask, where does all this negativity come from? I said, well, it comes from a couple different places. One, your past. Number two, it comes from what people have said, you know, mean people, bad experiences. And then I point out, I said, hey, you know, there is a lot of negativity that goes on. If you watch bad movies, bad shows, uh, if people are, you know, you're around people that are just, you know, mean and they say mean stuff or you watch terrible things on TV or look at terrible stuff on your phone. I said, you're putting all that inside your head. And then all of that gets put into your head. And then now that information is being used to make your decisions about where your results are going to be. And so if you have a cluttered mind, you're going to have low results. If you have a focused and organized mind, you're going to have higher results. And this is an eye opener. I mean, literally an eye opener for self-awareness about what is actually affecting their results. I mean, you got to think about this. If you got more negativity in your mind than the positive side, no wonder you argue with people. No wonder you are mean to people. No wonder you are sarcastic. No wonder you make comments that hurt people. No wonder you can't get going. So Kirk, you're trying to tell me that I can't get out of bed in the morning because I have so much negativity? Yeah. Well, Kirk, it's just not that easy. How do you know? You haven't done inventory yet. This is a matter of input. It's a matter of input. And most people don't understand that we need to be the ones in charge of input. We are the ones who decide what goes inside of our head and we decide the quality of input. If you put junk in your head, you're going to have junk thinking and you're going to have junk results. If you put trash in your head, watch trashy stuff, you just watch stuff that's just bad for your thinking, no wonder you can't get ahead in life. No wonder your results are down. No wonder you have issues with relationships. No wonder you have low self-esteem. It's because of input. That's the issue. It's the quality of input. What goes in is what comes out. You are in charge of input. You're the one, nobody else. So your issues in life, your low results, your bad relationships, your struggles are because you are not paying attention to input and the quality of what you're putting in your head. You need to look at what you've been putting into your head. Now, most people, they just count it as entertainment. Oh, I just want to just be entertained. And so they watch whatever they want. They consume whatever they want. You want to know why people are unhealthy physically? It's because of the unhealthy foods they eat. Well, you want to know why people's minds are unhealthy? It's because of the unhealthy things they put in their mind. I mean, it's like it's so simple to see. But for some reason, we as people don't pay attention to input. So 
do inventory. Do inventory on your mind. Draw a line on the paper. Above the line, write down all the good thoughts that you have about yourself, about your life, about people, about the future, everything. And then below the line, be gut level honest. Write down all of the negative. The degrading, the destructive, the devaluing, all of the stuff that roams around your head that is not good. Do inventory. You want to pay attention to what's going on inside your head with inventory of where you're at. Because if you don't know where you're at, you don't know what to change. And you won't know what input to change. You won't know. You have no idea what is hurting you. Your mind is the beginning of all of your decisions. It starts with input that goes into your head. Your head uses that information to make decisions of what to do and what not to do. And if your head is a mess and it's trashy and all that kind of stuff, you're going to have bad results. I don't want you to have bad results. I want you to have great results. But we got to point this out that you have to do a better job of what goes in so you have good information to work with. Now, there's one last thing I want to bring up here. Inside your head, there are other voices. You've heard them. There's other voices that talk to you. And if you listen closely, it's not you. I'm going to throw this piece in here at the end. The devil talks to us. I know, angels and devils, right? But devils talk to us and they degrade us. And it sounds like it's coming from our own head. It sounds like it's our own thoughts. But they stand on the outside of us. And they say mean things to us. And because we don't see a person standing around us, we think it's our own thoughts. But you have to be conscious that the devil is telling you negative things, destructive things about yourself and things to do to other people. Do not believe those statements and do not listen to those statements. When you start to do inventory, you may find that some of these comments down here below are actually coming from the devil. And it's because he told you these comments. It's not something you thought of. It's not something you put in your head, but it came from the outside of you. And the devil said it to you. And again, because you couldn't see another human being standing there, you thought it was your own thought. And then it becomes your own thought. So when you're doing inventory, if you find some really nasty things that you say about yourself or about life and you wonder, where does this thought come from? Where are these thoughts coming from? And where are these thoughts going to take me? Where are they coming from? Let me just write this down. Where are they coming from? And where are these thoughts going to take me? Those are the two questions you want to check in on yourself because what's inside your head controls what you do and what you don't do. You want to be in control of yourself, not to be controlled by something else. You want to be in control of yourself. But if you don't know what's going on inside your head, you lose control. And when you lose control, it doesn't turn out well. When you don't have control, you can't create what you want. You can't build what you want. You can't cause what you want to have happen. You can't finish that goal, finish that project because you don't have the control. It's because what's going on in your head has control of you. So what do you do? Do inventory and ask these two questions. Where are these thoughts coming from? And where is this thought going to take me? Where do they come from? And where are they going to take me? And then if you are low on the positive end, you got to start feeding your head, not just your body. Feed your mind good things first thing in the morning. Build this up into a huge inventory of positive power. When you have that positive power, you will take action at the right time and the right place to put you in alignment to create what you want to create. And you will be back in control of your life. So if you take this personal, what I'm sharing with you right now, 
do inventory. And if you got somebody in your life who's struggling, sit them down and have do some inventory. Care enough about what's going on inside your friend's head, inside your parents, inside your siblings, inside your coworker's head. Because if they don't do inventory, they're going to have no idea why they can't get things done. Okay, so there's my coaching for you today. Do something about it. Take inventory.